Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, I'm Jyoti. I am a student at Harvard and I make videos every now and then about the college application process. I have made videos previously on the common application personal statement and in dealing with standardized tests. And this video is gonna be about extracurriculars. So in terms of writing about it in your extracurricular section, and about integrating your extracurricular activities into your essays, whether it's your supplemental essays or even your comment app personal statement. Now, before I get right into the video, I want to remind you all to please subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to stay updated every time I make a new video. Also, if you like my content, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and uh, comment down below if you have any suggestions for future videos, if you have any other questions and Anything else you'd like to say, definitely make sure to comment. One more thing, I actually recently started a podcast called Lightbulb Moment through the organization I started a few years ago called Think Steam, uh, which is dedicated to empowering women in STEM or STEAM. Um, but Lightbulb Moment, my podcast, is featuring interviews with me and women in STEM media and entrepreneurship. We have some familiar faces to YouTube, like I, Justine, and Sarah Dietschy. Uh I also got to interview Jessica Mayer, who is a NASA astronaut, part of the first all-female spacewalk, which was really cool uh, to talk to her about, and some other videos, um, and some other really great women as well. I do talk about, like, applying to college and navigating college, whether it's just CS or as a student in general. So if you're interested in the content I make in my YouTube channel, I definitely recommend checking my podcast out if that is a medium that you're interested in. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So I'm going to start off this video by talking about what I think is the most objective way that colleges might look at your extracurricular activities. And this is with the rating system that Harvard uses that I'm assuming other schools might use something similar to. But um, of course, as some of you might know, Harvard has been going through a lawsuit previously uh, in terms of affirmative action. Part of what they released was actually how they look at students' applications. Uh, including their rating system with categories like extracurricular, like an extracurricular category, academic, personal, and an athletic category. Um, I'm just going to focus on the extracurricular category for this video because it's about extracurriculars. If you want to hear me talk about the Harvard admissions file process and looking through that overall, comment that down below and I can make a different video on that as well. Um, but for extracurriculars, or for all the categories actually, they rate you from one to six, one being the best, six being the worst. I will say though that rarely anyone ever gets a one, even Harvard students that get in, like that are admitted. Um, I say that most Harvard students that are admitted are like two plus, two or two minus in that range. Uh, so that's probably where you'd want to aim. Of course, if you want to aim for being a one, go, go for it. Um, but most students who get in are like two plus two or two minus. Um, but for the extracurricular category specifically, what I noticed is that like what separates a one versus a two versus a three versus a four, and then all, of course, all the pluses and minuses is not just the extracurricular activities you do, but the scope of it. So if you have any honors in an extracurricular activity, it has a larger weightage if it's like an international recognition versus a national recognition or a state recognition or a region or a local recognition. Um, so that is definitely something that has a decent value. Um, it's also noted that they do highly value um, elected positions, like if you're class president or vice president or have a position like that where someone else voted you into that position. Um, they do mention that that is in like the two category, which is very high up. So if that's something you're interested in doing or already have done, I definitely highlight that in your application. And I guess how I kind of demonstrated this in my application, um, of course, I didn't know too much about this whole rating system when I was applying, but um, I definitely tried to focus on like taking my skills and like demonstrating it in some type of like national international scale. Um, one thing that I'm really interested in even still is app development. So I develop iOS apps and I've published two apps to the app store. Um, but for in high school, I actually applied to be a scholar for Apple's Worldwide Developers Conference. 
and I applied and I was one of like 350 scholars out of like thousands worldwide to be selected as a scholar. Um, so that's an international recognition that I mentioned. Okay, so now that that's out of the way, I guess we can get to my personal tips on what I think you all should focus on with your extracurricular activities. So tip one, I would make sure that you all have activities that you have committed to from ninth through 12th grade or for as much time in high school as possible, just to show that this is something you're really interested in and something you're like extra committed to, right? Um, so for me, that was app development, which I started in eighth grade and continued all throughout high school from ninth through 12th grade. And also my nonprofit organization, Think Steam, that I continued from ninth through 12th grade as well, and even continued into college with other initiatives like the podcast that I mentioned earlier on in this video. Um, but yeah, the main idea is that uh, these were uh, activities that I was really focused on a lot throughout high school and did from start to finish. Although I will say that, that there are some exceptions to the idea that you should like prioritize activities that you spent most of your time doing in high school because of course uh, some of you who do like research if you spend a whole summer on that it's a lot of work but you only spent one summer let's say uh, i'd still try to highlight that on the top of your application especially if it's something that you would want to continue into college and something you might even consider pursuing as a career that's important to include in, in the top of your application also if you have an elected position like president or vice president or treasurer or something like that um, even if it's not for a long amount of time, I would still recommend putting that towards the top of your application, especially since, I mean, Harvard at least mentioned in their rating system that they do value like elected official positions highly. Okay, so tip number two, I would recommend that you make a story out of your extracurricular activities. And uh, by doing this, I mean, like, if there's any specific major you're really interested in or just any specific career path that you'd want to pursue in the future, I would choose an extracurricular that's related to that to the best of your ability and pursue that and show that this is something you're actually trying to explore and see if you're really interested in. Uh, so for example, for me at least, I am really interested in computer science and I have been all there at high school and I wanted to explore this interest. So I pursued app development and I pursued research in computer science. And I also had my nonprofit organization that wasn't directly me advancing my own interest in STEM, but it was me teaching other, um, other individuals, other girls about STEM and STEAM. So that also shows that not only am I pursuing my own interests in computer science, but I'm also learning how I can further my impact in computer science to the best that I possibly can, which is very important. Um, but yeah, so this is what I chose to do for my interest in CS. I know people who are interested in, you know, international relations and government who did model UN in high school, which is also really cool. Um, so I think that um, that is really important to explore your own future interests somehow through your extracurricular activities. So that brings me to tip number three, which has to do with structuring your extracurricular activity section. Um, I think the main question that everyone's wondering too is like, do I need to fill up every spot in the common app for extracurricular activities? And the answer is no, you do not. You do not need to have 10 extra extracurricular activities that you need to fill up. I know people that have gone to schools like Harvard and Stanford that have only had like four or five and ended up being totally okay for them. But I will say that it's important how you order those extracurricular activities. So you wanna put the most important ones at, on the top for how, and just structure that on how long you spent with the activity in high school, how many hours per week you spent on that activity, uh, what you've done with that activity and how much you really have to show to prove that this is something you're interested in, whether it's related to your major, any other interests you have that you feel are important to convey to the application readers and just different stuff like that. That's what you wanna consider. So for me, of course, I put Think Steam and nonprofit on top with app development. I also put debate towards the top of my uh, extracurricular section because that is something I spent four years of high school doing and something that shows that I'm not just interested in STEM itself, but I'm interested in how just like the world works and how STEM might intersect with other sectors and other parts of the world. Um, and it's also something to show that I'm interested in liberal arts as well, uh, which I am and it's part of why I chose Harvard. Um, so I think that that's really important. 
Also keep in mind that the extracurricular section of the Common App is where you want to really show exactly what you've done with these extracurriculars and any awards you might have won or any other actions that you might have taken that had some type of impact or whatever you need to show to prove that this is something you're actually really interested in, something you're really thriving in, uh, any leadership positions you've had, this is the place to do it in this uh, extracurricular section specifically. Uh, so I definitely would not recommend putting any awards or highlighting like a whole list of awards that you won for some specific activity, let's say, in your essays, because that doesn't really show your personality too well, or it might not show your personality as well as you could otherwise. Um, save that for the extracurricular section, and in the essay, just mention the backstory behind everything. Turn your extracurricular activity into a memo memoir and uh, talk about why this specific activity is important enough to you that you want to mention it in this essay, because uh, you only have so much space to talk about what's important to you to college application readers. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you like this video. I hope you learned something from it. I hope that this helps you out with dealing with your extracurricular activities for your college applications. As always, if you have any other questions or want to uh, say anything else, make sure to comment that down below. Like this video if you do think you've learned something. I'd really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. All right, see ya!